Does anybody know if Eric DaCosta has experience playing quarterback? Because in that pre-draft presser, he caught us with a mean pump fake. Ooh, Lamar, you saw that? I could be coming for you. Yeah, this feels like a dream. Ain't no chance what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it. Gotta made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens. Like the Ravens. Ain't no chance what I mean. You two team keep it clean. YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraving here with another video and Eric DaCosta and John Harbaugh they got one over on me they really did and and the worst part about it I didn't even realize it I didn't even realize I was just going along with it I, I didn't even catch it but this is one of the reasons why I appreciate team keep it clean so much because y'all see it y'all see it and it's funny because one of the comments on yesterday's video where we reviewed the pre-draft presser Somebody's like, Engraving Man, you think everything is a smoke screen. And I was like, well, especially in a pre-draft presser, because it all is. It's the liar's luncheon. We know all that already. That's what it's called for a reason. And you really think, think about this. You really think Eric DaCosta, John Harbaugh, Ortiz, you really think the Ravens are going to sit up there? Hey, let's have a press conference and let's tell everybody what we're thinking of doing. Let's, let's tell them all of our plans. Let's be crystal clear with them so they know everything that we're going to do moving forward in the draft. You really think they're going to do that? Really? But anyway, before we get into this video, even though we got into it already a little bit, I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. And don't let anybody kill your vibe. Make sure you protect your energy. Somebody try to bring negativity to you and all that drop. Nope. Excuse me. Give them a Heisman. Not physically, but give them a mental Heisman. So, no, nah, I'm not dealing with that today. So, keep that positive vibe going and know that somebody appreciates y'all. I, I appreciate y'all. I really do. So, my guy, Spiritually Smart, he put a comment in yesterday's video and I was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> because today, we were going to drop the video us talking about Alejandro Villanueva, him visiting the Baltimore Ravens. But when I saw this comment and I replied to it, I said, oh, okay. The Villain Waiver video, that can wait until either later today or tomorrow. We got to talk about this because this is far more important. Let's read his comment. Shout out to my guy, Spiritually Smart. He said, now that I think about it, EDC said it pretty strongly that he was offended about the receiver question. And yes, he certainly did. He said that he and he was insulted. He said the Ravens receivers were insulted. He said, oh, I heard all the fan complaints and this and that, but I am insulted by that. I don't like that. You guys are disrespectful. He didn't say it all like that, but he did say he was insulted. Anyway, now I'm now thinking it was a smokescreen. I don't know. I think EDC is more likely to say something intentional to throw somebody off rather than get even slightly emotional about how his feelings are hurt. You see where we going with this? You see where he's going with this? Because I did get several messages from people yesterday. Some people were talking about, oh man, EDC, why is he all in his, in his feelings? He shouldn't be all in his feelings because of the receiver thing. Because look, Ravens have a bad history when it comes to the receivers. They know that. We know that. Everybody knows that. And as much as some people try to sugarcoat it, that's exactly what it is. It's a problem. It's been a consistent problem consistent problem let's keep on going with his comment though he said uh it sounds more like edc to be playing a trick i mean yeah i think it's true that he loves the guys that are drafted and he go to bat for them against the critics i just think he wanted people talking about how he's doubling down on the receivers we already got while he makes moves behind the scenes and that makes all the sense in the world how he really, him and Harbaugh doubled down on the comment. EDC said, I'm insulted, and the receivers, they should be insulted that y'all feel that way. And then Harbaugh said, I'm standing by our guys. I'm riding for my guys. And we know Harbaugh to say stuff like that, but in a pre-draft presser, where we are again, timing is everything. For them to say what they said, the way that they said it, and my boy Spiritually Smart brought it out, it, it does make you think like, oh, yeah. No, they, they definitely add in more. They definitely are. And Ravens, out of all people, I know, like, they are very, very smart. I mean, you, you got to be smart in order to get into the position where you are. Well, of course, you got you to gotta know somebody, know somebody too. But 
I'm sure they did their due diligence on Sammy Watkins. This is why when they first signed Sammy Watkins, I said, this cannot be it. This will not be it. They are not done here. They can't be. There's no way. But then when you think about it, when you really think about it, because I, I responded to a lot of people's comments. We talked about it in the live stream from a couple days ago. Actions speak louder than words. You can say this, you can say that, you can do all the talking you want to, but your actions are going to show what you really mean. So we think even back to last year at the receiver position. Ravens were receivers were Hollywood, Boykin, Sneed. Dez Bryant came along, but before Dez Bryant, it was Hollywood, Boykin, Sneed, uh, Duvernay, and Proche. So those were the Ravens wide receivers. Now, remember when they went, originally wanted uh, Yannick Ngakwe? And even after they traded for Yannick Ngakwe, and they, even before too. They also spoke to the Vikings about one DeAndre, I mean, excuse me, Adam Thielen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because <laughs> you know, Adam Thielen. So they were snooping around about, about Adam Thielen. So those were their actions. Their actions showed that, oh, you 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 trying to get another proven receiver, huh? Okay, cool. And then even the draft, before the draft. That's why it was on my mind. That's why I said DeAndre Hopkins, because he was a guy that they tried to get before the draft. They tried, but they failed. So they've been trying to get that guy at the wide receiver position. So hopefully this year, the third time will be the charm. Hopefully. We'll see. And again, this is that time frame. You know Orlando Brown Jr., they, 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 they could package him in a trade or they could package something else. But Ravens have shown recently under Eric DaCosta that he really wants a proven guy at the receiver position. So good pickup, spiritually smart. Appreciate you uh, really putting us on to that, man, because... Know oh, these Ravens are sneaky. Yeah, Eric DaCosta, you you want to help on? Yeah, we get y'all now, man. We get y'all again. They they got one over on me yesterday. They really did, man. They like I I didn't see that at all. But that's why I appreciate Team Keep It Clean. Cause if I don't catch something, oh boy, y'all <laughs> y'all definitely will. Anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Again, do not let one person kill your vibe today. Nobody. I love y'all. Let's get it. Yeah. And great will lock you up, we playing football okay. I'm a fanatic, you see we got the magic And yeah, my boys are savage and open challenge and madden Let's go Make him rage quit, exit out the door, exit out the door. Yeah. Use his favorite team with a Baltimore